I'm going to look here at creating an image based on the normalized burn ratio which is calculated in a very similar way to the normalized difference vegetation index. The difference being that as input bands it uses the near infrared and the second mid infrared Landsat band as opposed to near infrared and red. So what I've got up here on the left hand side is my Landsat image being displayed as a 542 and if you look in the scroll window you can see where the burnt areas are quite clearly as these dark maroon patches and the normalized burn ratio or NBR is going to try and highlight those areas for us. And what we're going to do as, as it is calculated very similarly to the NDVI image we're going to use the function within, within the NDVI, within NV for the NDVI. So I go to transform and NDVI and as the input I'm going to use my base Landsat image which has been ready and metrically corrected and I click OK on that. Now the only difference here is with the NDVI the calculation is near infrared minus red or near infrared plus red. With the normalized burn ratio it's near infrared minus mid infrared or near infrared plus mid infrared. So the difference is solely in this band that it's the NV is recognizing as the red band which we actually want it to be the second mid infrared band. So for Landsat TM that's band 7. So all we're going to do is change that so it essentially tricks NV into thinking that it's performing NDVI but it's actually performing the normalized burn ratio instead. So that's all I need to do before I choose my output file. Navigate to my output directory and enter that in and click OK to perform that, that correction, that um, algorithm. So I'll open that image that I've already, um, I've already created. Alright, now let's have a look at the image here. So I'm loading it into a new display and again this is going to be a grayscale image and you see as it's appeared here and if we look at linking our two displays and moving around the image have a look at areas where there's vegetation versus areas that are burnt and see how the image appears. So for example if I move into an area where I know there's dense, dense mangroves and dynamically flick between my two images you can see that dense mangrove areas are bright white in the in the normalized burn ratio image whereas they're, they're the standard dense vegetation color in my in my color composite now if I move to burnt areas for example you can see this this dark maroney brown color on my color composite and in the normalized burn ratio image you can see this is a very dark color and again you can check the individual pixel values here okay so what we're looking at in the image is areas that are particularly dark are more likely to be burnt in that image